Hi, hi, hello! So in today's video, I will be redesigning more Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid characters, partially because I didn't know what to do for this week. And the other half is because I wanted to try to fix this, that one. Well, just, yeah, Lukua, I wanted to try to fix her. And before you go, oh, Mia. What? She's okay. You've said characters are allowed to have big breasts. Yeah. It's the situations in the manga that need- Oh, it's so bad. Like, when I first watched it, I'm not going to lie here, I didn't know. I was like, third. I didn't really understand pedophilia, if I'm gonna be frank with you. So I didn't realize how fucked it was. But looking back at it as like an adult, it's so f fucked. And the fact that, that little boy's name is Shota, which is like Shota and Lollicon, no. So I wanted to try to fix Lukua and actually make her not a disgusting person. I know in the original st dragon story, the quasi Quiddle is is a male or is like a guy, but. I thought it would be f cool, funny, funky, fresh to just, I don't know. I, I thought about that she's trans. I, I liked the idea. I thought it made things better. I also had decided that, just like Kana, I decided to make her look like she was more related to the peoples of the origina originous nation. So I made her more tan. Because she is from, I think it was the, I think it's the Aztecs. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that she actually looks like where she's supposed to be from, like ge geographically. And then for the outfit, I didn't change it all that much. For her, for the body type, I decided to make her a little bit thicker. Just I wanted to practice practice drawing bigger people, and that's why that's how that she was just the one. I also, it's a lot more, it makes a lot more sense. Obviously, there are skinny people with proportionally huge boobs, or not even just that, just huge boobs. I know that because I'm one of those, I'm on the proportional end of like proportionally, like I should be a medium, but medium shirts don't really fit me properly sometimes, depending on the sizing. So I know that pain, and I know that people like Lukua in the anime exist and are actually real and didn't get surgery but for the sake of just wanting to practice drawing bigger body types I changed it but also just to make more cool sense and then to change her personality instead of trying to live with a little boy oh god I made her where she will she's probably like she's gonna be like Elma, where she actually has a job in her own place, completely removing her from that situation. Along with that, I'm going to make it to where her personality, she doesn't like kids. So that, no kids. No. I don't know what kind of job, like, all of a sudden I was like, oh, bartender. Because she's already flirty. And I wanted to keep that aspect because I feel like taking away, taking away the fact that she's flirty isn't, I just want to take away the weird, you're old enough to know that you're not supposed to do that with a little boy like that. <laughs> I fix her, she just has nothing to do with the little boy. Boy, I actually switched her and Fafnir, and I know Fafnir and Glasses. I can't, re I don't remember their name, the humans' names, if I'm going to be honest with you, so you're going to be hearing me call them s strange names if I continue this series, and I think his name was Takahachi. Anyway, Takahashi, but I'm gonna call him Glasses. <laughs> Lives with glasses. And they have a wonderful, beautiful, definitely gay thing going on. But for the sake of this redesign, I did want to keep, I wanted to keep, I wanted to keep the little boy. I'm not saying his name because I think it's a disgusting name. I renamed him because it actually disgusted me that bad that he was literally named that. I just have to... Where is it? Hello? 
his name is like Sitar Sitaru. I looked up. I it kind of sounds like Sayori, but it's not because I just like the name Sayori. I just have to I just have to find it. But I kept him pretty much the same. So now I made his outfit more like Shihiro's from Spirit Away because I'm a sucker for that kid's outfit. I think it's really cute, and so I put it on another kid. <laughs> I also made him more of a bug catcher, and instead of him having a stay-at-home mom, which is like the ex weird excuse for Luqua to not be a maid and just a weird companion, I made it to where I just, I'm, I'm sorry buddy, I took his mother out of the equation, she's dead now, and the house is a mess, and so he needs a butler. I also thought it made more sense that if he was trying to summon a demon with mage magic Fafnir would pop up for anyone who's seen his dragon form that is horrible horrifying nightmare fuel he has I think there's two different ones because I guess the creators couldn't decide on one but one of them has six rows of teeth and has a human nose and that's a demon right that's just a straight demon I decided that instead of Luqua which her dragon form is fine it's not it's not bad or anything it's actually i actually quite i quite like her dragon form it's very like pretty and like iridescent and i tried to i kept the hair color for that reason because it makes sense because yeah it's satoru his name's satoru i found it i wrote it down but for that iridescence for Fafnir, I made him look more like a butler because that's in this redesign. That's his thing. And he can still have a thing with glasses and make it more more gay instead of just like subtly everyone drawing fan art of it. It's here now. Um, I also gave him a really long braid. I like the idea of, of all the dragons having ridiculously long hair. I think it's funny because it's like they never cut their hair when they're in a human form and so it just keeps growing and I know they can control their human form and technically their clothes are scales. I don't know if how I like that because or it's odd because in situations like Lukawa the clothes are only covering the center of the body which means the rest of the body would be out of without protection. So I like to think they just use some sort of shape shifting on their clothes instead of the scales cuz it just gets there's there's like a level of mind games and then do they have to take off their scales in a dragon form? Like, how, what the, okay. We're not going into that. I like to think that, so in the show, the reason he looks like a butler is because Toru showed him a picture of a butler and was like, look like that. And this one, I like to think that she like mailed him the clothes and was like, wear that. If you want to come see me, wear that. He still has the same personality because he's himself and I can't change that but I changed his outfit I also gave him more pointy ears because I just I like the idea that all the dragons have interesting ears I think it's more fun that way like I gave Lukua feather ears because her dragon form is more like this long serpentine creature that's covered in fluffy and feathers because that's what the Quasquidal is uh, a long beautiful like dragon with fluffies all over it but yeah, so I also took from his dragon form. He does, he's more of a blue, but I wanted to save that for Elma. So I made him more of a black and red. And I did already redesign Ilulu, but I think I might redo it again just so that I can get an idea of all of these characters. But for him, I made him black and red because, again, the whole like demon thing. And I also thought it would be really funny because they could, because, okay, if this was a show, if this was how the show and manga was written all the black butler jokes and like references you could do with these two immaculate i think people would have liked that a lot more than whatever happened with lukua at least in my opinion because i would have liked that more and i don't i haven't even watched black butler and i'd like that more <laughs> so yeah i gave him this long this really long braid with red tips because I also like the idea that all the dragons have a natural hair color tips. I think it's funny, funky, cool, fresh. And then I made his main color red. Originally I was gonna make it blue, which is why there's blue line art. You'll see I change it when I'm done coloring him. 
But I kept, other than the red, I kept his color palette pretty the same. Originally, I was going to add a tail, if you saw that in the sketch. I ended up changing my mind because I thought it was too much action, especially with the braid. I like to think maybe there are sometimes he does have his uh, tail or something along those lines. Same thing with Lukoa, but that's just because originally she never had a tail, and since her body is literally a serpent, I don't know if that would be possible of her having a tail without having any arms or legs with the dragon form and such. But for him, it was just more of a utilitarian thing of not having two different danglies. And then for Satoru, uh, the little boy in the show with the purple hair, I kept his hair color and skin color the same. I didn't see anything worth changing it. Um, I did give him pointed ears because I thought maybe he could have some sort of fey ancestry um, from the other world because he's a mage with a descendant of like sorcerers from the other world and he's trying to learn magic um so i thought it made a lot more sense for him to have those like unnatural colors because what if he's like his great grand great grandpappy was an elf maybe that those genes still persist um even though he's like maybe only 10 percent elf he still has slightly pointed ears and nat unnatural hair and eyes uh, yeah i also made him a bug like catching bugs this was more of like, like a like an indulgence on my half because when i was like these little like when i was around eight i loved going outside and catching roly polies and like playing with them and then putting them back where they were i also used to see whenever there were june bugs trapped in the school in the glass they called it the class hallway where it was just the windows yeah you can tell i went to school before shooting was like is huge of a threat in elementary schools but we still had the drills it was just not that big of a thought to the point to where there was a literal hallway made of anyway when they were june bugs get stuck in there i would always catch them during recess and release them and so i wanted him to be more like that where he's in tune with the little bugs and so he has a bug catching net and i thought that was really cute and stuff i think oh if this turns into something I actually start writing, I'm gonna be, I don't know if I should, I'm gonna be mad at myself because I wanted to make a story like Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, but without these characters and without the connotation. Because I love, I love the way they design the dragon, just human. I really like it. I just, I can acknowledge that the show is not there, but I have to. Toru having the little dragon tail and the ears, or not the ears, but the horns. It's so cute. <laughs> Just... But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I, I hope I can do more. Usually when I do these redesigned series, after the second episode, people are over it, like, view-wise. So I might not continue this. I do want to do a Lulu, and I might do glasses i'll remember his name eventually <laughs> and forehead i'll remember her name eventually if you watched the show ever you'll know who i'm talking about it's the little kid with the shiny forehead and i can't remember her name i just remember her forehead <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want me to do a part three just comment below i'm happy to do more parts because i'm actually really having fun with this and fixing basically fixing the first anime i ever watched so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye